We'll be a police officer recovering after a serious car crash on the job. He was given a warm welcome home this afternoon. A church in Sarah Land held a luncheon for Officer Clayton Graham and people lined the streets to show their support. NBC 15's Muriel Bailey was there. She joins us now with more on the emotional event. And Kim, Officer Graham was so thankful and he says that all of this was actually a surprise he knew nothing about and he just could not hold back his tears of joy. With colorful handmade signs and flags, the community welcomed home injured MPD officer Clayton Graham. Today is a good day. We're celebrating life today. Yay! Graham was just released from the hospital. As he made his way into Living Hope Church in Sarah Land, he couldn't hold back his gratitude. I shed tears, I called Jesus tears of joy, because I didn't realize this many people was in my corner for one thing. And I see now there's nothing but love, love, love. In January, Graham was hit head on in his patrol unit on Halls Mill Road. He suffered serious injuries. Continue to pray for me that I get better to this day, I think. Because it's a long road back for me. His wife says the outpour of support while he was in and now out of the hospital helps. I just want to thank you. My husband has gone through a lot. He could not be here today, but by the grace of God, he is. Those who came to show support say they had to be here because this time it's a different salute. There's a lot of, of sorrow that comes sometimes being on the job, and today we're celebrating life. That's why I'm here to celebrate life and celebrate healing for him. It's going to take you a while to read all that. Okay, that's why. Not only did Officer Graham get a warm welcome home, he also received a stack of cards from Sarah Land Elementary students. I thank God for sustaining me through all of this. I thank everybody. I thank everybody with all my heart. And they decided to hold that celebration in Sarah Land since Graham is from that area. He still has surgeries and therapy to undergo. Reporting live, Muriel Bailey, NBC 15 News.